the mother of my child who had been my girlfriend for over 3 years until last night broke up with me and and told me that she doesn't want to be your mom right now i am 19 and in my sophomore year of college she is about to turn 18 and in her senior year of high school we had been together for more than 3 years since we were in high school together she got pregnant toward the end of my senior year our daughter just turned 1 year old the pregnancy was not planned we were careful but not careful enough and it happened i was willing to support any decision she wanted to make we talked through all the options together she was not forced by anyone to keep the baby but i told her i would be involved and support that if it's what she ultimately decided to do she said she already started to grow attached to the baby and love it early in the pregnancy and could not get an abortion neither of us were very comfortable with that option so she decided to keep it and i adjusted to the idea of becoming a dad at just 18 years old i had been accepted to another college yeah state away but changed my plans after this happened and decided to go to an in state school with a driving distance of where we live i live at a home with my parents and commute to school i'm only going to college part time and will most likely graduate in 6 years instead of 4 I had planned to go full time out of state and had much bigger goals for what I had to do after that. I also have a job and all of that income goes to supporting our child. I am okay with that. This is my responsibility. I love my daughter. I don't have a ton of free time, but we do share custody and and our daughter splits her time about 50-50 now between both of our family houses. She used to have her more often because she was so little, but I still went over to her parents to help and to see my child all the time. My girlfriend is a loving mom or always seemed like she was. I know it's been hard for her in many aspects, but I thought she loved our daughter as much as I do. I could not imagine saying I don't want to be her parent anymore. There are moments when I still can't believe this is my life and there are times where I wish I had some more freedom, but I still would not change it. She told me last night that she has been thinking about it for a while. She is applying to some colleges further from home and eventually wants to go study abroad. This is not what she wants for her life and she is not ready to be a parent right now. She told me that I am much better at it than she is and she feels like a fraud. She said she wants to figure out what needs to be done legally to give me full custody of our daughter. We don't have any sort of legal custody agreement right now. She also suggested that maybe it's good to start transitioning our daughter to eventually live full time with me starting right now. She wants to have her less time but thinks it won't be right to do it suddenly. I am just sort of in shock, blown away by this. Really? I can't believe she would do this. It's not about me having to care of our daughter full time or anything related to me not wanting that. I am so angry and almost disgusted at the thought that she could just decide she really eventually wants nothing to do with her own child. She made it clear that she doesn't want to be her mom once she leaves here. I am trying not to explore. Maybe she was just feeling that way and will change her mind. The update from this person is I gave my ex-girlfriend about a week to tell her parents about her plans to abandon our daughter. attend college out of state and eventually move abroad she is living in a fantasy land her parents are really involved with our daughter so so i thought they had to write to know about what she was planning one day i got impatient enough that i told her parents myself last week when i went over to their house to pick up our daughter my ex was not even there i was pissed off and told her parents everything she told me I also let them know that I think she needs to be evaluated for PPD. I was not really familiar with it before. I knew, but I knew about it, but only the more extreme cases of moms murdering their kids. When I looked it up, I realized she has a lot of symptoms and I can see signs that I missed over the past few months. Now, she is mad at me for telling her parents as well as accusing her of being crazy. She insists she was screened for PPD already and she is fine. Her parents have told her that if she wants to go to school out of state or go study abroad, she will be all on her own and they won't support her in any way. They can't actually stop her. Her mom assured me she will make sure she gets screened for PPD. Although her parents didn't want to agree to it at first, my daughter is staying with me and my parents for the next few weeks to give my ex a break. 
Sometimes her parents forget they are not my daughter's parents. That tells me a lot about what probably goes on over at their house. At first, my parents thought this was just a phase she was going through and maybe it is. But we have decided that no matter what she ultimately does, I I have to get an official custody arrangement in place. If she can make a decision like this and just drop it like a bomb one day, she could easily change her mind just as fast and decide she wants our daughter all to herself. My mom and dad are going to help me with finding a lawyer to give some guidance with those aspects. I am not trying to terminate her parental rights. Probably could not if I wanted to since it's just not that simple. I just want to protect myself and my daughter. And my opinion about this issue is, it is understandable that the OP is feeling shocked and angry about their ex-girlfriend's decision to not want to be a partner to their daughter anymore. It is not uncommon for new parents to feel overwhelmed or are unsure about parenthood, especially if they are young and not fully prepared for the responsibility. However, it is not acceptable to simply abandon a child and expect the other parent to take full custody without any discussion or preparation. It is good that the OP is willing to take on the responsibility of being a parent and is actively involved in their daughter's life. It is also commendable that they are considering their daughter's best interest and trying to ensure that any transition to full custody is done gradually and with proper legal arrangements. In conclusion, while it is understandable for the OP to be upset about the situation, it is important for both parents to prioritize the best interest of the daughter and work together to ensure that she is well cared for and supported.